craft breweries are quickly becoming one of the most popular things to do when you visit a new destination. It's a great way to taste new beers and experience the culture of various cities. So if you're interested in craft breweries in Calgary, this video is for you. We're Matt and Carla, a Canadian couple with two totally different backgrounds, sharing our experience and advice about traveling in Canada. So follow along as we continue to explore the second largest country on earth. Before we start drinking some beers, this video is sponsored by Neo Financial, which is the perfect sponsor for this video because they've partnered with some of the coolest breweries in Calgary. Founded in Alberta but available Canada-wide, the Neo MasterCard is the everyday credit card that rewards daily spending. With no annual or monthly fees, customers gain all the perks of spending smarter and getting more out of their money with no strings attached. They provide exclusive offers and 4-6% cash back on the places everyone loves, like breweries. If you want to score these rewards, simply sign up in less than 5 minutes and if approved, use your digital card instantly by adding it to Apple Pay or Google Pay and making contactless payments with your smartphone. To learn more, visit the link in our description or check out our article to the best craft breweries in Calgary on mustdocanada.com. But to kick things off, we're here in the really cool neighborhood of Inglewood to try out Old Beautiful Brewing Company. Well, it feels like summer again. There's so many people in the patio and we're ready to try some beer. So we got a flight as usual because I find that this is the best way to try different beers. And um, we got, a, Matthew and I got the same ones. We didn't even know, but we ordered exactly the same ones. And they usually have their core and their seasonal beers. So we just got a mix. And the ones that we got is the Brass Monkey, which is a blood orange blonde. The Gatekeeper, which is a Belgian chocolate stout. The Twin Flame, which is an amber chai lager. And the Dark Arts, which is a strawberry peach sour. So I'm gonna try them all and let you know which one is my favorite. They're all super good, but I think my favorite is the amber chai because you can actually taste the, the chai. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's always kind of funny that we order the same things. I was actually hoping to also get an Okami Kasu. That's the only beer we've actually tried before from Old Beautiful at a, a restaurant that we were at when they were opening, a Japanese restaurant. And it's a collaboration they did with them because it's actually brewed using the rice from sake. So it's got kind of that, a little bit of a sake tinge to it. Really good beer and just really unique. But it doesn't matter because there's so many good beers on the menu. So now let's see if we both like the same one. I'm actually really starting to grow an appreciation for stouts since coming to breweries, but my favorite one is also the chai. So I guess me and Carla have the same palate now. It's actually really good beer. It's like it's an amber lager infused with chai and you really do taste it. So it's interesting, unique and delicious. Well, another surprise, we didn't actually know they had food here, but there's kind of like, it's almost like a food truck inside here called A1 Burrito, where you can order what looks to be some delicious Mexican food. We ended up going with a burrito and three tacos and we're gonna share and try it out. How is the burrito so far? It's good. I really like the sauce, actually. But the better judge is me, because I'm Mexican. So the burrito is very good. But now let's try the rajas con crema taco. Yummy. Muy rico. Mm. Today we're gonna start drinking early. It's Monday at noon, but we decided to come to another popular neighborhood here in Calgary, 17th Avenue Southwest. And it's actually a very popular street with a lot of action. There's a lot of bars and restaurants here. And we're gonna try some of the beers from Trolley 5 Restaurant and Brewery.
This is actually our first time here, but it's actually a pretty cool place. We happen to be here on Monday, which they've turned into basically like holiday Monday, so it's happy hour all day long. And they actually do a lot of events here for the Flames game, which is pretty much walking distance. That'd be a great place for that. But I just love that they also have the beer tanks out. It kind of makes you feel a little more like you're actually in a brewery. And it's bigger than we thought, because we thought it was just this main floor, but they actually have an upstairs and a downstairs. But now let's go to the exciting part. Once again, we're getting a flight. It's the best way to try just a wide variety of beers. And this time me and Carl actually chose some different options. So that's kind of a change. But of course, I'm going for their blueberry lemon sour, a blueberry lemon tart, I believe. Then this one looks pretty interesting. It's called the Triple Dragon, and it's actually a golden pastry stout. So I've never really seen a stout that's not as dark before. Then I'm going with the Mr. T. This is a hoppy one, so I'm probably not gonna like it but it's one of their features and it's like a raspberry trifle milkshake. Just sounds really interesting. Then the next one is just a, a lager, their turntable lager, just a classic beer, and then a grapefruit rattler. So let's try them out. So my favorite, oh man, this is a tough one. I do like, I mean, I do like the grapefruit rattler. It's just a very- Fruity beer? Fruity drink and it's just, I don't know, it's good. It's like a mix of juice and beer, so it's quite light. And then, I don't know, I might have to say maybe the stout. It's just kind of, it's like a bit lighter than a dark stout, but still has a very strong coffee flavor. It's good. Well, I'm going to start trying Matthews. I'm actually quite curious about the raspberry trifle. Yeah. Surprisingly, like Matthew said, even though it's an IPA, it's actually quite tasty. I think I can order one of these. Hmm. And I'm also curious about the stout, because I like stouts too. Mmm, pretty nice. Light, because Great. usually... It has a really strong coffee. Eh? Yeah, and stouts are usually thicker, and this one feels lighter. But anyway, now it's my flight so he recommended to try the little haze because this is a good introduction for ipa beers so might as well give it a try no still not my thing sorry but yeah it, it's light though it's not like super hoppy then this one is the rattler the yacht rock which I knew I was gonna like because I love fruity beers and light beers. This one is the Electric Magic, which is the sour. Good, not my favorite, I must say. The Notre Dame, which is your traditional Irish stout. And also pretty good. Um, I, tr uh, different from Matthew, I wanted to try the Conductor because he mentioned that it's similar to the Alexander Kid Amber beer and I like it. So let's see. Yes, I like it. So, well, of course, my favorite is the Yacht Rock because I love Rattler beers. And my second favorite, I will say that it's Matthew's. <laughs> The, the stout, the triple dragon stout. Golden pastry stout. Okay, that one. <laughs> so another great thing about the Trolley 5 restaurant and pub is they have a really extensive menu. Everything looks really delicious on there. I've already been munching into this and I actually got the fried buttermilk chicken with hot sauce. It just sounded super good and it actually comes with, you can get root fries, so it's like a, a different variety of different yams. And I love sweet potato fries, it's delicious. But I'm pretty excited for Carlos too, because she actually got the brisket, something they're very known for here. And they actually brought us a sample before, and it is the best brisket I've ever had. And this is also really good.
Well, we're back at another brewery once again. Don't worry, we did take a break in between these two, but this time we're actually all the way in the northeast of Calgary, right by the airport at Rail Yard Brewing. We actually weren't sure what to expect because this one was, you know, pretty far from where we live, but it's actually one of the nicest breweries we've been inside. It has this really cool industrial feel to it, a lot of games you can play, and of course, if you're staying around the airport or maybe you have a quick stopover, it's a great place to come. Right now we've just ordered some snacks. They don't have a full menu, but they have some nice little snacks you can have, as well as some of their beer. So once again, me and Carla both ended up ordering the same five beers for the flight. We have a peach sour. We have their seasonal beer, which is a nitro peanut butter milk stout. We have their normal nitro oatmeal stout, their lager and their blueberry lime seltzer, which is not a beer, but they're all the rage these days. So we might as well try one. Let's see if we like the same beers again, Carla. Don't say which one is your favorite until the end. Okay. This one's the sour. Their peach sour, by the way, is an award-winning beer for them. Holy man, you can actually smell the peanut butter so strong. I don't know which one is my favorite. Okay, I know which one is my favorite. Should I say it now? Yeah, sure. I think it's the peanut butter one. Does that stand for the peanut butter, the second one? PBS? PB? Yeah. Ah, so the peanut butter, and I couldn't taste the peanut butter or smell it. Oh yeah, this one is my favorite. Okay, well, of course I do like the seltzer, but that doesn't count because it's not a beer, but I'm gonna go with the peach sour actually for me. Good. Did you like the peanut butter one? Yeah, actually, I like all the beers. It's just that I'm definitely a big fan of sours. They're probably one of my favorite beers overall, so I'm a little biased that way, but I do like the peanut butter stout as well, and the lager. I like them all. Another day, another brewery. Now we're at 88 Brewing, which is kind of located in between the neighborhoods of Inglewood and Ramsey. It's a really cool spot actually, and I was actually wondering why they called it 88 Brewing, and it's because of 1988. It was such a big year here in Calgary. The Olympics were here. It was kind of that, that, that year that put Calgary on the map. And I love that they've kind of incorporated that vibe of the 80s, like all the neon lights and like pictures of neon jackets, even their cans have a lot of that neon designs to it, which is really cool because I actually love the neon colors and wouldn't mind if the 80s came back, to be honest. But on a more exciting note, we're now going to try some of their most popular beers. They actually picked the beers for us. This way, Matthew and I were not going to get the same kind of beers. And the first one that they picked for me was the Duotang. Do you know what a Duotang is? No. It was like those little card, kind of like paper folders that you put your three hole punch paper in and then you fold the little metal clips to keep it in there. They remind me very much of elementary school. I didn't know, that's a new word for me. Okay, thank you. And this one is a dry hop sour. So this is gonna be different because I usually get fruity sours and there's no fruit in this one. Very good, very refreshing. Then he picked for me a seasonal beer, which is True Romance. And this one is a dark plum sour. I like this one. I really like this one. It has, uh, it's like kind of a mix of a stout and a sour beer because you can taste that like kind of coffee flavor in it. Very good. I think this one is my favorite. Well, between these two because this one is actually not a beer. This one is a vodka soda drink, which I love the name, it's pretty in pink. And it's very good as well, very refreshing for, for the summer. And it has some peach, raspberry, and rose petal. All right, and now for my turn, they've started me off with one of their monster truck lights. So this is a Pilsner. Yeah, just your kind of a light Pilsner beer, great for the summer, I would think. 
Then they've given me their good morning, which is meant to be like, good morning, Vietnam. And this one is a Vietnamese coffee stout. You can actually add condensed milk for free, but I'm gonna do that next because I wanna try it, you know, in its original form. It's very good, actually. Really starting to like stouts. And last but not least is the Night Gallery. This is their most popular beer. It's a hazy pale ale, but it's very light, citrusy, and grapefruity is what they've told me. And it's actually named after a nightclub in the 80s, long before my time in Calgary, that I guess was like welcome to everyone. As long as you liked live music, didn't matter what kind, you loved this place, and this is a beer for everyone. And that's good. Got a little bit of, a little bit of hops to it, but but good. All right, and now we're getting our food, and just like an 80s diner, it's served in the little plastic round dishes. This is actually, uh, I guess the restaurant's called Mixtape. He mentioned that they're actually gonna be getting their own, I think, restaurant in June. But right now it's called Mixtape. They serve a variety of sandwiches. We went with the Cubano, which is slow roasted pork belly, Swiss cheese pickles, brassica mustard, and a lard bun. Don't know what that is, but it sounds delicious and it goes perfect with beer, I'm sure. Sandwiches have to be like one of the greatest food inventions. <laughs> this is very good sandwich. Very, very good. I swear. I like it. Mmm. I like it, it doesn't really change it too much. Just a little bit, a little bit sweeter. Well, that's it for this video on some of the top breweries in Calgary. Of course, it's not all of them. We only featured four and there's at least 40 in Calgary, all of which have great reviews. So if you want to learn more about breweries in Calgary, check out our article on mustdocanada.com. We'll post a link in the description below. And as you know, this video was sponsored by the Neo MasterCard which earns you cash back on places like breweries in Calgary. I don't know if you've noticed, but our card is actually the Hudson Bay Reward Cards because it gets you extra benefits at Hudson Bay as well. But other than that, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and leave us a comment. And for more travel guides about Canada, visit the website at mustdocanada.com. This is a long one, though. Yeah.